So this past month, I actually had the opportunity to reinvest back into myself. And the crazy part of it all was the fact that I went back to Florida for it all. I don't know what it is about this state, but I keep having to go back every single year, except this time I went back to learn from another business owner. Last month, I had the opportunity to go to Florida to attend my first ever real estate event. And I thought that it would make a great YouTube video, especially considering that they might make another event just like this. So I thought that I would give my honest review on this event because hopefully if any of you decide to go to this event or any other conference or any other place where you had to just pay for something, you can see how I did it and hopefully this can help you with your experience. Before I start, I think it's only fair that I share with you how I found the event. Now I found this event by listening to one of my favorite podcasts of all time by your one and only Bradley. It's called Dropping Bombs and I'm not kidding you if you have not followed this guy on any of his social media platforms if you're not listening to his podcast i'll put his link somewhere around here stop the video go follow that guy and then come back because i need the views as well anyways he was a guest on his podcast where bradley interviewed him and talked about the crisis that we have here in america and if you didn't know we have a housing shortage crisis meaning we're not building homes at the rate that we're supposed to which is why the cost of real estate is so expensive and trust me I know I live in LA where it's really expensive it's ridiculous before I saw the podcast interview me being in the trades and looking at real estate investments and technically being a real estate agent I've been looking into this crisis for a while now. The housing shortage is something serious, especially for my generation. And this is the reason why we need to get ahead of this because I honestly do not know how my generation will even be able to afford any homes in the future. So since I've realized that there's been a crisis in all of America due to the low inventory that we have, when Michael went on the podcast, it was finally something that intrigued me, something that I was willing to gamble on. Even though that this guy may be a scammer, like everyone is nowadays online, right? Now the name of the workshop was called Learn to Build, and it was hosted by this guy named Michael J. Newell. Hopefully I said his name right. He's actually a real estate developer in the state of Florida, and he's developed hundreds of homes throughout the whole entire Southwest Florida. And it looks like he's killing it. At least that's what it seemed like online, right? But there was only one way to really find out which is taking a trip to the good old state of Florida. It was a three day event that was gonna take place in Southwest Florida, where he promised us that he would teach us his exact business model on how to build a home from the ground up. I didn't believe it. I mean, who wants to share all of their secrets, right? So to be frank with you, I didn't really have high expectations of the event, considering the fact that most people don't like to share their real secrets with anything that they do. And that's not to mention that one, he didn't have any social media presence online. So it's really hard to tell that this guy was even legit. He might be a scammer. And two, this guy's a contractor and contractors are shady. And I've met a lot of contractors and I've gotten ripped off by contractors. So who's to say that this guy isn't shady too. And three, this guy's probably just like every other guy online, just trying to sell an online course, right? Either way, I didn't care because it was a topic that I was already interested in. Plus I kind of got hooked up because I found this guy early. I actually bought the tickets at only $500 which I think I underpaid considering the fact that as the date got closer, they actually raised the price to $1,000. So I figured might as well go, right? And not to mention, I love taking vacations. So even though maybe I didn't learn anything, I can just mark this off as one of the three vacations that I take throughout the year. So it can give me some time off from working all the time. So I was gonna take it as a vacation either way, even if I took it as a loss. On day one of the event, it was more like a meet and greet at the Luminary Hotel, which by the way, is a really fancy hotel in fact it was so fancy that it was one of the most expensive things of my whole entire trip especially considering that I was flying all the way from California but the good thing was that Michael actually hooked us up and got us a discount for those people who decided to stay at that hotel so I paid a lot less even though it was still a luxury hotel 
Um, so thank you guys for that. Either way, day one was really tough for me because I made a mistake. First of all, it was my first time ever not like really looking into my itinerary of when I was gonna land there and I didn't know when I should leave because of the whole ATM business thing that I have going on. Either way, I decided for the first time ever to book what's called the red eye flights. I didn't even know what that was and I found out the hard way. If you don't know, I don't recommend it. I would never do this again, which is taking a flight at like 9, 10, 11, 2. I think I took my flight at 2 a.m. and I didn't get over there until like 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Either way, I found out that I cannot sleep on planes and I cannot sleep at the airport. And I had no sleep whatsoever on day one. So I was already out of it on day one. I was so tired. Not only was I jet lagged because it, Florida is like three hours ahead from California. I didn't get any sleep and I worked the day before. It was, I was a mess. I was tired. I didn't even know how I was gonna be able to function and the event started at 7 p.m. Luckily, it was just a meet and greet and all I had to do was talk to people. And I figured, I mean, this is what I do for a living. I can go talk to people. It should be no big deal. But I was really tired. I was literally running on zero hours of sleep. Even though I was running on zero hours of sleep, it was still an amazing event. In fact, he ended up reserving like this private section at the hotel with like a really nice view. And I met a lot of really great people at the event. And this was one of the main reasons why I wanted to go to the event because I wanted to network with other people. And this is why I tell people, the more hands you shake, the more money you make. You wanna go to these events because you meet individuals just like yourselves. And people don't realize that when you're on this path of success and like business and entrepreneurship, it gets lonely sometimes. And sometimes the friends you grow up with they're not interested in the same things that you are and you may feel like a lone wolf and to be quite honest with you when I was meeting people I've met a lot of people who were just like me and felt just the same as me where they felt like they were the only ones in their friends group trying to be successful trying to make it out or had the same interests and ideals and wanted to talk about business and talk about money and I felt like these were like my people and that was like one of the best parts of the whole meet and greet because I got to meet a lot of great people, a lot of successful people doing really great things in the world. So even though I was tired at the meet and greet thing, I learned one thing that honestly I've been taking for granted but not really because I also know that I'm really good at this. I'm really good at talking to people. I don't know what it is. God gave me this gift where I can just talk to people normally and I can literally go up to anyone and just start a conversation, not be shy about it, and just carry a conversation. I didn't know how much people struggled with this. And I heard about it from a lot of other influencers or like people with like that are in business that sometimes people just don't know how to network, don't know how to talk to people, and maybe it's a, like a social thing. I don't know what it is. But going to this event, I learned that I'm really good at talking to people. And I guess that's why I'm good at my job. If you get anything from day one, it's like talk to as many people as you possibly can because this is where you practice. This is where you practice and hopefully you get to meet some really great people like I did. But that was all day one. It was just talking to people, meet some great people, eat some food. And yeah, day one was cool. So day two and day three was where the real fun was going to begin. This is where we were really going to start learning. And the day started really amazing. In fact, they provided us with breakfast. And I thought when he said breakfast, it was just gonna be like coffee and bread, but it was like a full on breakfast. Like breakfast was probably my favorite thing of the whole entire event. I'm just kidding. But they had a really good breakfast. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised of how organized this whole entire thing up because right after breakfast, we actually got picked up by a bus and we got sent to his office where we were in a room sitting down in a, like a classroom setting and he was going to literally teach us everything he said. Teach us how to go from ground zero to a full built on house. He legit taught us from ground zero how to build a house from dirt to a full on finish. He gave us the whole entire blueprint. Meaning, even if you had no experience whatsoever, if I were to teach this class, I would have probably taught it the same exact same way because I've been learning about how to build homes for a while now. And he covered literally everything, all the way down from not even knowing that you need a license and you know construction, nothing. Like if you don't know anything, he goes over everything. Now, I'm not, I don't wanna go into what he taught because it is a lot 
but you definitely get your money's worth in regards of learning the whole entire process. And plus, he gives you like this big sheet of paper where um, he teaches you the whole entire like blueprint from literally A through Z. Like there's no way you can fail. And after a couple of hours of sitting down, we had some lunch and I thought that was gonna be like the whole entire event because that's how most events are where there's just someone up there on stage or someone in a classroom setting and they're just talking all day. And it honestly reminded me a little bit of school and I, I, I don't know, like I'm not a big fan of that type of learning, which is why I'm really shocked that he went a little bit higher than what I was expecting. I did not expect this part of the whole entire trip where after we were done eating lunch we actually got back on the bus and we literally got to see all the phases of a house being built all the way from dirt to foundation to framing to rough electrical and, and plumbing and all the way to a full finished house like we saw it all from everything a through z going to those job sites was actually my favorite part of the whole entire trip because this is how i like to learn i'm a visual learner and i like learning by taking action so when we were out there we I actually saw everything like physically like I, I, I clearly like I'm gonna put some videos in here editor put some videos and show them the whole entire thing um, yeah dirt everything like I've never physically done a whole entire house myself but I know what goes into construction and when I saw all of that I was like wow like this just tied in everything perfectly for me where I can comfortably say like I can build a house now overall I think that it was a really great event. Like if you went out of this event and don't know how to build a house from the ground up, then I don't think you were paying t enough attention. And I personally was barely halfway there cause I did some other things. Um, but altogether, it was a great event. Honestly, Michael is not a scammer. He actually provided a ton of value, value that I didn't think he was going to give. Um, with the whole entire presentation that he gave, um, with the script that he gave us in regards of all the steps and the experience of really trying to drill in our heads everything that goes into building a house and literally having the ability to ask him anything related to the business whatsoever, he was more than open to share with us. Not to mention, it was a really organized event. He has a really great team behind him. I And if there was flaws, well, I didn't even see them because they were on schedule. They kept tight to their schedule and it was a really well ran event i don't see how it could have gone any better i mean i i honestly don't know like it was a really great event like if you left that event without knowing how to build the house from the ground up then i'm sorry to say maybe go again <laughs> but going to this event one time is more than enough for one person trying to learn how to build a house from the ground up and before i even went to this event i personally thought building homes was already easy and going to this event just kind of drilled into my head that I got this and reassured the fact that I know what I'm doing and it is a lot easier than what most people think. Um, so I really appreciate Michael for hosting this event, teaching us everything and really making us feel as if this is easier than what people really think it is. Cause it is, it's really easy building a house. I think the hardest part of the whole entire thing and like anything in business and anything that you do is finding the deal, finding the land. Once you do that, finding the money is not that hard. And then finding the contractors and doing all that, it's a little research here and there. And then from there, it's just systems and processes, which he gives you. It's just a matter of taking action. Besides that, I would highly recommend anyone go to this event because it is a lucrative opportunity in regards of real estate investment whatsoever. Personally, before even going out to this event, before even my, meeting Michael and his whole entire team, I've always loved new construction and I think it's going to be the next big thing in regards of real estate investments whatsoever because of this housing shortage crisis that we have. So, and not to mention that a lot of people see this thing as hard. So the barrier to entry for a lot of people is not that many people doing it. So I would say it's something that you would want to check out. Now there's some important things that I want to share with you guys about what I took from the event. Personally, there's a reason why I wanted to make it a YouTube video because now that I'm starting this whole content creation, I want to mix in my life and everything that I learned throughout 
my years and share it with all of you guys so you guys can see the truth of what it takes to get to the next level and i always want to be honest with you and share with you the realities of what it's like trying to make it out here in the world and investing in yourself is one of the key concepts that i tell everyone you have to learn to save your money invest in yourself reinvest in yourself and gain more knowledge because that's how you get to the next level the more you learn the more you earn and that's been a concept that i try to drill into everyone that i meet is to constantly reinvest in yourself because those paybacks are insane so i went to this event to show you guys that i truly stand by what i believe and i constantly reinvest in myself and i want to show you guys me doing it and taking action for it and i'm already taking actions on implementing this whole entire new business model that I have going on for either this year or the following year. It's just a matter of taking these initial steps that I'm already working on. Another valuable thing that I took from this event is that you have to network with people. Being that it was my first ever event whatsoever where I got to meet a lot of different people and that was actually my first time even traveling for such an event, I learned the power of networking. I met so many great people, so many people just like me. You see, there's days where I go throughout my life of working so much and I rarely have time to socialize with my friends, not like they even have the same interest at me, but sometimes it gets really lonely doing this whole like business and trying to make it out there in the world. And I've learned that a lot of people just like me are struggling with the same things and that's why it's important that you network with other individuals like yourself because these are your people when i went out to that event i never met so many people just like me where they were eager eager to learn where they wanted to be better where they had the same interest as me and it's so hard because for me and my generation i'm still young and i think like 20 30 years ahead compared to a lot of other people so being around much older people who are solely focused on being better and building wealth and just trying to be better like i felt at home and i've never felt like that before it felt weird so networking not only makes you align with your people but it helps you with so many different aspects like i got a lot of contact information i reached out to a couple people and Honestly, I feel like I met so many different people from so many different states that if I ever go to a state, I can always reach out. If I ever have a business issue or a business problem or a business proposal whatsoever, and if I presented it properly to these people, then maybe I can make something happen. And that's the power of networking and that's the power of being social. But the obstacle that a lot of people have, which is something that I also learned from the event, is that people have this weird awkwardness when it comes to being social i don't know what it is like some people are just not gifted the same gift that i was given by god where you can just talk to anyone and be yourself and be comfortable and just move around the way i kind of move i don't know but i've been doing this for a really long time i do this for a living every single day where i just talk to people and unfortunately not everyone has this ability but i don't believe that it's not an ability that someone can learn the only problem that a lot of people have to overcome is being comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I've noticed that even though a lot of these people whom I met were successful in their businesses, well, a lot of them had a lot of social anxiety where they couldn't just walk up to somebody, start a conversation, start a network and ask deep, full, meaningful connection questions, I want to say. I don't know how to word it but build a relationship with people. I don't know, some people felt like it was weird and they were trying to open out of their comfort self. And I met a lot of people who I tried helping like break out of their comfort self because I don't like people not being who they are. Um, I like people being the best version of themselves. And going to this event, I learned that whether it's me or anyone else, if this just ties into you, be, comfortable with being uncomfortable whenever you go into a situation and you're like getting these butterfly feelings in your stomach and you feel like you don't want to do that those are like the little signs that you have to look out for that you're supposed to do when you feel that way you 
go towards that. A lot of people, when they fear, like they have this feeling of fear, they tend to like run away instead of going towards that. Like, yeah, if someone's just like shooting, don't go towards that. But like, if it's like something that you want, something that you're eager to want to become, go towards that. Like, be uncomfortable. It's a good thing for you. And lastly, the thing that I always strive and try to live my life is by taking risk. You know, it was a gamble going out to Florida. I've already been screwed in Florida. If you guys haven't seen the video, go check it out. But I've already lost money in Florida, having to go to Florida and maybe losing some money again. I live a risky life where I take these risks and I'm willing to gamble, not only so you won't have to, but that way I can learn and that way I grow because that's the only way we grow is when we take these risks and a lot of people don't take these risks and I try to show people and this is why I make this content and why I make these videos so I can show you that life is all about taking risks and this is me taking risks and I'm going to continue taking risks so that you don't have to and I can learn by my mistakes or somebody else's mistakes. That is the poll video of Learn to Build. Hopefully you found some valuable information. Hopefully you take some risk. Hopefully you invest it back into yourself. And if you did find this valuable, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.